Tonight, Sanford's chief says they are looking into those claims and if the officer followed protocol. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us now live from Sanford. The Sanford's police chief Cecil Smith just spoke with the media about 20 minutes ago outside of the police department here. He says he wants to make sure that he has all of the facts and information in this case moving forward. Stanford police say they want to be transparent when it comes to excessive force allegations against one of their officers. The reasoning behind releasing body cam and social media video to the media today. Actually, I will tell you is that uh, one of our city employees reached out to me uh, via text on Tuesday evening and said, Chief, why don't you take a look at this and, and you probably want to uh, take steps to address it. The incident in question took place Monday morning around 2 o'clock at the barn in Sanford. A time when the bar should be clearing out, an incident involving Officer Adam Johnson took place. In two different video angles, you can see Officer Johnson take down Morrell Bird after he was handcuffed. The officers, they was like jugging all night and, you know, at, towards the end of the night, um, my cousin and my brother was like getting ready to leave the section and, you know, they just, you know, crowded around them, like trying to, you know, influence them to, you know, act out on them. Crystal Hill is the cousin of Morel Bird. She says they were out for her brother's birthday. Her brother, Chris Hill and Bird were handcuffed after police say they resisted arrest. The report says Bird was on a table tampering with an air conditioning unit. He was asked to get down by police, but instead yelled back expletives. That turned into a scuffle and arrests. Now the family is looking at legal action and Officer Johnson has been placed on leave. Officer Johnson has been with the Sanford Police Department since December of 2007. We have requested his personnel file. Right now, we have been told that as of this year, he has had no complaints filed against him. Now, Chief Smith is also asking the public out there, anybody who may have been at the barn that morning, if they have any video that they were able to take, to please contact him. He says he wants to see any and all video associated with this incident. Coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear more from the chief. Lisa? Vanessa Ariza reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.